What's going on my lords and ladies, it is the Samurai back again with another Elden Ring content. The Coliseum update is already up and a lot of PvP players are enjoying it to the core. If you want to join the fun, I got you covered and in this quick guide, I will be showing you how to find all three Coliseums in the world and also we will be checking out basic PvP match settings that a player can participate in so stay tuned for that. Starting from the easiest one to find is the Limgrave Coliseum. And in Limgrave, start from the Stormhill Shack side of Grace and you can head straight to Divine Tower Bridge. Right underneath the bridge, Head east until you access the lower areas by traversing the slopes here. The arena should be visible by now and as soon as you find the gate, open it and Bob's your uncle. Easy, right? Moving on, now for the second and the hardest one to find is the Kaleed Coliseum. This will be a long journey so be ready for it. To access it, first we need to enter the Yoffer River well located in Mistwood in Limgrave. I have fast forwarded the video for the sake of its duration, but you will definitely know where to go. After the long magic stone leap sequence, head inside the ruins to find another elevator. Access this elevator and eventually arrive at the Yoffer River's main area. This is the lower section of Nokran with an astounding view and head to the other side of the river to progress. Activate any side of grace that you will come across since if somehow you die in here it is going to be a long way back and we don't want that. At the end of the river, the other magic stone lift is hard to miss, so head on there. Use two stone sword keys to activate the lift and hop on it to access the upper areas once again. After reaching the area, activate the nearest side of grace from the well and progress through the canyon ahead. Two stone sentinels are guarding this path but you can skip them easily if you are fast enough. And right at the end of the path lies the Kaylee Coliseum. It's really hard to miss. It's kind of cool. Head to it and open the gate. This is by far the longest one to unlock in my opinion so you can now relax at least for now. Moving on to the last Coliseum which is the Royal Coliseum situated in Lindell Capital. Depending on your story progress, if Lindell is not in Ash, you can access and activate it but if yes, you may want to activate it in your next playthrough. Now for the West Capital Rampart side of Grace, head towards the giant root of the Earth Tree past the Valiant Gargoyles, head straight underneath the roots and follow the path leading you to the upper section of Lane Dell, and eventually find the Royal Coliseum's gate. That is all the three Coliseums that you can find in the world and after activating all of them, much easier access can be taken advantage of and you don't need to go to each Coliseum to participate in this PvP matches. Moving on to my last point here 
explaining that, teleport your way to the round table hold and notice that the statue of America near the fireplace. Here you can queue for PvP matches straight away but before going in, let's take a quick and rough look at the match settings that you can participate in. The first is combat format. This will determine the type of match that you want to experience. And dual is one-on-one -on -one match, which is I am very interested in. And combat or deal is basically free for all and up to six players. This is going to be chaotic because you can imagine the mess, right? So the last one is United Combat where six players will be divided into two groups to compete. You can set the number of players that will participate as well and of course, new addition to the PvP experience is the usage of Spirit Ashes if they are allowed to be used that is. Password settings of course for exclusive matches with friends and their restrictions as well and preferred team if participating in a team match. Lastly is the venue, you can pick on where the battle will take place. To be more interesting, you can randomize it. That's pretty much all for this guide and I just want to get this out there as fast as I can and I want to know your thoughts on this update so far. If you are a PvE player like me, are you planning to participate? Drop it in in the comments below and if you find this video helpful or enjoyed it, liking the videos truly helps me a lot by a long mile. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to not miss new uploads every week like this one. And as always, thanks for watching. For more Elden Ring content, keep it locked here at JRPG Samurai. Stay awesome and safe, and I will catch you on the next one.